Asian. Can't direct, can't drive. <laughs> Dude, I'm right here. Right there. Community is racist, sexist, and perfect. If this is your first time here, welcome to Food for Plot, where we make videos about how story works in all media and how to make your stories better. Subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. The show community from NBC was created by Dan Harmon of Rick and Morty fame and has several episodes directed by the Russo brothers from, oh, you know, <laughs> that little Avengers film that made all the money in like the universe. But before all that, there was Community, a low-rated but critically acclaimed show with legions of cult-like fans, about five people in a community college study group. Shirley, the Christian black super nice mother who tries to hide her past mistakes. Abed, the Muslim American socially awkward film nerd. Britta, the blonde atheist activist feminist. Troy, the black Jehovah Witness handsome football jock. Annie, the Jewish straight A student who actually likes school. Jeff, the white agnostic corporate lawyer whose life is falling apart, but he is too cool to show it. And Pierce, the senior citizen who has outdated beliefs about everyone and makes racist, misogynistic jokes and comments, but doesn't see how his humor or comments are outdated and simply wants to fit in with everyone else. See, the reason that I went through this laundry list of people is because it's important that you know all this info about the characters. The show doesn't ignore these things like most other shows do. In fact, it references at least one of these character attributes about every episode. Abed, Abed the Arab. <laughs> Is that inappropriate? Sure. The characters will straight up say some racist or misogynistic stuff in everyone's face. Nothing says I'm a woman like uh, <laughs> doing it with me. Abed gets called Indian, terrorist, woman hating and such. Troy gets most of the black jokes and he gets all the Jew jokes. But in a good way, Shirley gets more Christian jokes than black jokes, and I guess... Oh, that's nice! Britta gets slut jokes, activism jokes, lesbian jokes, and Pierce gets old people jokes, and also... The writers can actually use him to say any racist joke they want directly, which they do all the time. And I mean if the culprit is among us, statistically speaking, it's Troy. And I think there are even a few more characters beyond the core cast that get outdated jokes. Chen gets Asian jokes and crazy person jokes because, you know, the man is unhinged. Uh, the Dean gets kink, fetish, and gay jokes. Oh, 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 oh my god, even his shadow. Look at his shadow! Oh. And in general, the show is just royally forked up. And it's perfect. All the characters are equal in the sense that nothing about anybody is off limits. All the characters speak to each other how real human friends speak, even though these things are definitely not PC or socially acceptable. And it was different. There were a lot less hangups on things. And honestly, the amount of sexism in the first two seasons of the show is astounding. And it could never happen today. The show was never meant for mainstream audiences. Dan Harmon, the creator, wanted to create a show that spoke honestly. I was pitching the story of a guy who, like me, had gone to community college. I was pitching a very meta story about an asshole. Uh... The show was so strange for NBC because it's a mainstream primetime channel, but yet there was so much backstory that you had to know to understand the jokes, which is why the ratings failed. The ratings were never good on the show because there was too much baggage. There was too much backstory that you needed to know in order to understand some of the jokes. That's nice. I also leave you this liquid nitrogen cooled cylinder of my hyperviral sperm in case your lesbian lifestyle one day wears out and you wish to raise an army of geniuses. Surely. And that's really where the show went wrong but went right for all the people who are following the show. It's the last show to talk about people the way that normal people talk about people. They're the casual racism, religious views, age problems, the microaggressions abound, but everyone is still friends. Even if there are stereotypes in the show, each character is equally distributed. And I think that's the point. If you're going to say something about one character, why hide the elephant in the room? Everyone's gonna think that way anyway. And people do think this way in the real world. 
Things like race, religion, sexual orientation, gender, nothing's off the table in this show. And that's what makes it one of the last great examples of truly equal storytelling and writing. All these people have plenty of misinformation about each and every one of their character attributes, but they're still friends. None of them decide to throw away the entire friendship over something small and I think that's really important in this show. All these people get along and are friends because they are part of their community no matter what and that's why community is racist, sexist, and perfect. But that's just food for plot. If you learned something in this video or you think others might learn something in this video, go on and share it or join the conversation down below even if you disagree. Click that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss another video. Every like goes to feeding the penguin. So until next time, keep writing.